So I will scan this area with the LiDAR scanner. I built this uh, design structure 10 years ago and now it's time for maintenance and I will scan uh, this area for uh, construction planning so that I know where I can park the mobile crane After I scan it, uh, I process it with the uh, scanner software. Uh, the white line here is where I'm walking. Now I have been walking in a, in a loop. Now I'm returning to the starting point. Uh, 14 gigabytes of memory. Uh, and they are using all the cores. Here's the scanning result. The whole shopping mall area. Uh, I can do a section. Here's section wheel. The most important part is that I can scan a mobile crane and put the point cloud into this uh, job site and I can plan uh, the lifting. For example, if I want to uh, park the crane here that will be uh, too close I can't work on these corners so I need to park the mobile crane here and I can calculate for um, a lifting capacity of the crane because I know the the boom angle so this is a very uh, useful feature for uh, construction planning because when I built this canopy there was no bridge between the two buildings so I can park the crane here under where the bridge is but uh, now the bridge is here so I need to park the crane uh, toward the back side and I need a larger and longer boom crane Okay, here's a perspective wheel under under the canopies. 
So mostly uh, it's good to check for the dimension to here. It's about 19 meters. So I can check where I can uh, park the mobile plane. This is very really useful because it's very expensive to uh, uh, bring the crane into the job site and find out that it can't operate under some environment and uh, you need to order a new new size new size of crane uh, thanks you guys for watching see you in the next video